What is going on YouTube? How's it hanging? All right, we got the LR3 back in. Uh, a little update for you. We do have the interior removed, well, except for the back. Front seats, rear seats, got the carpets out. And it's not as bad as what I was thinking it would be. Let's go to the other side. Okay guys, you can see the water line was right about there in this little channel. You can see it a little better there. All right guys, the water line. This is what we're dealing with. When your sunroof stays open, you get a lot of wires in here, fiber optics, a lot of stuff that can go wrong but not too bad now center console is really easy to remove uh, shifter assembly four tens uh, you got I think it's two tens on on these brackets here a couple of plugs and she comes right out now the carpet I will show you in a little bit uh, the carpet we disconnected our AC drain tubes the carpet from the factory does have a, a cut in it, and it's right about here. We just follow that line with a with a sharp X-Acto knife. We keep going all the way up under the console, and we make that one cut, and that's all you have to do. I'll show you over here on the carpets. Here's the carpets, and here's the cut. And you can see, this is the factory cut right here. This is where your drain tube goes. So it's already cut there. We just go ahead and cut it on this side. And you can see, I, I kind of tore the carpet right there. So I couldn't get to it. But, um, so yeah, guys. So yeah, there we go. We got the carpets all pressure washed. Man, it feels good today. Uh, sorry for the background noise. We're close to a train track, so anyways, let me flip this camera around. I'll show you what I did. I just pressure washed it, sprayed some degreaser on the carpet. We're just gonna let it sit out here and air dry naturally. But the carpets came out great though. I mean, they look brand new. So if you wanna spice one up, clean it up really good, remove those carpets. I probably had about an hour, maybe an hour and a half in removing everything. So, and I just laid everything back here. You can kind of see what comes off. A lot of clips, a lot of wires. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-exclamatory. I mean, it, anyone can take this stuff apart here. Um, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna clean this floor pan, clean the tray right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrap wires here with electrical tape clean that back up clean that channel back out uh, you can actually if um, let me show you something over here sometimes if you have a water leak all right, all right. there's a splice right here um, this one's already been fixed but these this splice right here will kick out your remotes and this is a, a, a green and white wire Sometimes if your remote's not working, then this is a really good place to check. Um, I think that's the only splice in this bundle of wires. I mean, there's one right here, but that didn't. This one doesn't affect the uh, remotes. So only this one, and somebody's already replaced this uh, this splice here. But you can kind of see. Full of wires. Um, AC drain is up under here. Uh, you have to remove the CJB, and remove the glove box. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that you'll run into. 
with these drain tubes. I'm gonna wrap this in electrical tape. Good. Get all this cleaned up. But it's coming out really good. We got all the carpets cleaned out. Um, we still have to clean the door panels. You can see it's got a little mold. We've already cleaned the seat belts. Um, and I use three things when cleaning the seat belts. Um, I used vinegar and water. I diluted the vinegar and water, sprayed it down, it kills the mold, but it leaves a smell. Um, so what I did, I got that cleaned up, went back with some degreaser and cleaned off everything. Uh, just your normal household degreaser. Test on something first, make sure that it doesn't stain your carpet, but uh, test a little section first. And if you're good to go, then that's what I used. That's what I did. Uh, these seat belts turned out great. Now after I degreased the seat belts, I just came back with some Lysol wipes, you know, just regular old Lysol wipes and uh, wiped everything down, give it a little fresh smell instead of a uh, chemical smell, you know what I mean? So anyways. Will you take part in my What's going on guys hey we got this lr3 back in here i got the inside all cleaned out uh let's take a look here we go guys i got all the carpets out got it all cleaned up lights all white everything all cleaned up i went ahead and retaped all this uh all the wires i retaped over there, retaped. There's a little bit of staining to the floor pan, but it's not going to hurt anything. So let's get this carpet put back in, and this interior put back together, and let's rock out and see what we got to work with. Don't ever take it. I what I it's what you make it, make it. Always try to get a couple days since we had this LR3 in and we were going over the LR3 what was going on I've since got everything done uh, let's go over some of the stuff that I did on this truck okay the back was really easy uh, I just needed vacuuming really uh, I put some carpet cleaner in there we got the carpets cleaned up seat belts are clean we went through and really cleaned everything Door panels is all clean now. There's a little bit of something or another going on with the door panel, but it is nice and clean. Carpet's turned out good. Um, a little bit of dirt right there. I may have missed a spot. The carpet's turned out great though. Front seats. Carpet's looking good. We got all the center console. Everything's cleaned up. And it's turned out great. Smells like a new car. Because the only part that we haven't addressed is this rear quarter panel. As you notice, we do have some different wheels. I went with 18 inch wheels. Um, we're gonna go with these tires for a little bit while we're doing the body work. Before we do the lift rods, we're probably gonna do like a, a Neato Terra Grappler. 
I think that's what I've decided to go with is a Nito. Uh, but other than that, I really I like this style of wheel a whole lot better anyway. But it's turned out great from where it started. All right, guys. So under the hood, pressure washed it, degreased it, and just a light coat of armor on. Just enough to collect a bunch of dust and dirt. You know how it is. Uh, as far as under the hood, the only thing we did was the hood struts. Uh, and the coolant leak turned out to be the, uh, there's a top overflow hose, a like a bleed off hose. It's got a little plastic T-piece in it. And that's what was leaking. So we replaced that T-piece. So just went to Lowe's and get a sharp bike fitting. You go in there and just disconnect, do away with that bleed off. So there we go, guys. Let me know what you think. Some of you have asked about the uh, sunroof drain tubes. There was some paperwork in the car uh, from, they actually had it at the dealer. Um, I wound up giving that dealer a call and get them to pull up the history for the car. And it had turned out that before they took it to the independent shop, that they had just replaced the uh, sunroof drain tubes with the new style. So we're good on that. What is going on guys? Hey, so we'll start with the LR3. Um, I had to hurry up and get done with this car because it's my youngest daughter's 16th birthday and we're going to be giving this sucker to her today. Um, so it had to be on a lowdown, but I wanted to keep you guys in the loop. So that's what's going on. We will be getting it back in to do some of that body work. Uh, the front grill, I had to borrow a grill off another white truck that we had. Um, so that we didn't paint the grill, but uh, I still have to paint that grill. That, so uh, we're gonna have that on. So we'll have that going up not too long from now. We'll put that video up for painting that grill. It just turned the crap. So it was just a crap shoot on that grill. Um, paint started bubbling up and cracking so we got some work to do to that grill uh, but I also have some work to do to that quarter panel so we will be getting that in and doing some work on that quarter panel you don't want to miss it so let's see what happens when we give this car to her today okay uh -huh. Think if I bought some paint, you could uh, paint the wheels. 